Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kahakudash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Shalom, Labakariyam, Shah, Yasha Allah. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. I'm make this quick. Getting off at the plantation right now. This is off grid desert farming. This is Paul right here. This channel is ran by him and his wife. His wife's name is Adrian. This started off as a farming channel and morphed into um, an end of the world uh, news channel. You know, as the Lord unfolds, or should I, should I say, unleash his, um, his military might on this earth, you're going to have sites like this reporting. And this shows you that um, this guy's YouTube shows you as proof that man's goings are of the Lord because he admit him, himself that this was not the main objective of this channel. But nevertheless, um, it was just reported about an hour ago. I seen this. I was in route that um, that um, Russia has launched one of their Zircon missiles on a um, CIA, a Ukraine, C, UK, Ukraine slash American CIA building, you know, and um, wiped it out, <laughs> wiped it out. You're going to see the report here to show you that things are speeding up. So stay on. We on high alert. That Zircon missile, it was reported that it moved at 11,000 miles per hour, something, something, something big like that, man. You know, and they deal in kilometers. So I forget how many kilometers. It's this, I mean, this is a supersonic missile that they use. So the battle's heating up. Hello, everybody. This is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. This is March the 25th, 2020. I want to welcome everyone to our live chat today. I hope everyone well. This is an emergency alert. We do have some breaking news coming in. This that Russia has eliminated the uh, headquarters uh, of the uh, Ukrainian Secret Service. According to the latest information, they used a hypersonic Zircon missile. They totally destroyed the buildings. Uh, uh, dozens of CIA high-level officers were there, along with high-ranking Ukrainian officials were uh, in this building. So it looked like that President Vladimir Putin is uh, striking back uh, to punish those who organized uh, this uh, massive a terror attack in Moscow a few days ago on Saturday that uh, multiple waves of bombers and bombs have been hitting different locations in uh, in and around Kiev um, and other places in Ukraine, folks. Uh, this is unfortunate that we have reached this level. Uh, we do have also breaking news uh, that was responsible uh, for organizing this attack. We're going to read you all this information. But before we get going, please make sure that you are subscribed to our channel and hit that notification bell so you will uh, be alerted to all of our breaking news. So many important things are happening in the world. You need to be informed. So let's go ahead and get to our first story. This information uh, has just come in. The Russians pulverized the headquarters of the SBU in Kiev along with dozens of CIA agents, numbers of victims are now unknown. The overwhelming. So this news has just come in. Hey, this is a picture right here of the blast site. You can see a huge this, crater. Uh, uh, it look looks like this. the entire building was taken out. Entire building gone. Gone. This is a quick report here. You know, but um, I think he shows... The before and the, this is the aftermath here you know the location of the building was here you can see some of the you know left of the building wreckage there you know so we see it's picking up it's picking up it's picking up and we knew there was going to be some form of retaliation from what happened 
you know, over the weekend with that um that that hall being attacked over there in uh, Moscow, and they up to about 140 dead. This is being reported. We don't know if that was a you know a black swan of Russia himself, you know, or they allowed that to happen so that they can um up the ante with this war. But one thing we do know is that we moving deeper and deeper into prophecy. And we still in the Feast of Unleavened Bread right now. You know, it will end this Saturday, Saturday night. So the Lord is bringing the pain, bringing the wreckage. Um, there was a, um, a warning for the next 48 hours that went out. Serious cyber attack. Listen, it only takes one time to be right. Yo, so your world is about to change. Zircon missile over 7,500 miles an hour. Okay, uh, sorry, I was wrong. I said 11, so he's, it's 7,500 miles. It was unstoppable, and uh, Russia wanted to make sure that uh, they could not... Sh the, the Russian Air Force pulverized the headquarters of the Ukrainian Intelligence Service, BU, where its officers had a meeting with dozens of American CIA agents. The building has disappeared, and reports coming out of Kiev indicate of American agents, advisors, and officials have been killed. So this is serious. Number this is serious. We, we climbing up the ladder. We climbing up the ladder. It says the Russian Air Force pulverized the headquarters of the Ukraine Intelligence Service, the SBU, where its officers had a meeting with dozens of American CIA agents. So... I'm sure there's going to be more confirmation coming out, but this has been confirmed. You know, Paul gets his news from War News 24-7. Um, hey, be ready, man. The Lord is amping up the firepower of this bear, Russia, man, prophecy. This is Joel 3, verse 9. This is NLT, New Living Translation. Say to the nations far and wide, get ready for war. And that's what the Lord is doing. These prophetic prophecies, man, they've been pre-selected, pre-destinated, pre-ordained, so everything is in order. Far and wide, that's from the north to the south, from the uh, east to the west. Get ready for war. Call out your best warriors. And that Zarkon bomb, as you go into it, anybody know about that bomb? The men of the Lord know. That's a serious weapon. And it was put together about a decade ago, but it's been um, broadcast about four years ago to the Pentagon. So we got some, we, they, they stepped up the ante. So that, that was a, a hypersonic missile. I think he said hyper. I said super earlier, but I think it was a hyper. So it says, let all your fighting men advance for the attack. And you're going to hear more and more advancements, man. And it moving forward. You know, as a thief in the night, the Lord described it. Hammer your plowshares into swords. So that means your farming tools, they, you know, <laughs> instead of agriculture to feed the uh, the population, these guys are stockpiling, man, weapons. And your prongy hooks into spears. Train even your weakest to be warriors. And, you know, America's putting these women on the front line. You know, over there in Ukraine, they're getting the, the youngest men. You know, I heard 16, 17. You know, a lot of women over there in Ukraine, too. They following the American policy with that. You know, so they getting it from the top to the bottom. You know, the uh, the draft already went out in Russia. You see the type of soldiers uh, China got. North Korea, South Korea. Everybody's about to bend that bow, man. It says, come quickly. The third world's woke cometh quickly. Come quickly, all you nations everywhere. Gather together in the valley. And now, oh, Yahweh, call out. Your warriors, and that's the angels. And that valley is down there in, Le in the Levant, the Fertile Crescent, which is uh, coined Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh Shapat, which means the Lord Judge. Let the nations be called to arms. Let them march to the valley of Jehoshaphat. See that? Which is the valley uh, uh, of decision. There I, Yahweh, will sit to pronounce judgment on them all. The final war is about to take place. 
So we paying attention to this thing blow by blow, feed by feed. You know, every drop that the Lord is allowing us to see, you know, that come across our plate through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Man, we on it. As you can see, this is this location. Let's see here. Just coming in, the images, it is very devastating um, to look at. Look at that. This is a It is right reported that the headquarters is in the farm. The main intelligence directorate could have been hit. So, um, Zelensky, uh, Vladimir Zelensky, and terrorists launched ballistic missiles at Kiev, unfortunately, houses in a typical urban neighborhood. So that's what they are saying. But uh, Russia is saying that this was the headquarters of the SVU. Uh, um, I will leave this link in box for all of you guys that want to know the sources. But this is the picture coming in right now. Uh, it does look like this entire area here has been destroyed. Let's go to another article. So that's, that's you, it. So um, stay on alert, man. The prophecies are coming to pass. This is a time to be sober, be vigilant for your adversary, the devil. It's coming down with great wrath as these prophecies are popping off. We're about to be challenged in our personal lives. We're about to lose things. We're about to forsake this world. We got the MOTB is about to take place. You know, it's a serious time. And, you know, we're in the time of the Passover right now. A lot of other camps goofing off. You know, you see what's going on with the Sakari congregation, you know, the IGJC, you know, whatever, you know, um, you know, alphabet, they go by lettering, you know, a lot of Israelites going to be caught off guard and not paying attention to these prophecies. But the men in the Lord, you know, the Lord has given us that fervent spirit to watch. So we thank you how about Shimei Abba for this, because, you know, reports like this, all this is about to make sense real soon. This is coming to America, man, as a thief in the night. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash, Shalom.